Get that account to 7 million. Let them get the account up to 7 million. Okay. So, since yesterday, I have no eating. Since yesterday, I have no eating. The little food I have to reside for them. Let me start for them to eat. What's the problem? Ever since I lost my job, I've been using my car to be doing tazi. Okay. To be feeding my family. Yesterday, Thief K, they broke into our, our compound. There are many cars there. They destroyed my whiskey and removed the brain bus from the motor. Remove many, many items. When I went to mechanic side yesterday, they said for me to get the brain bus of the motor. Because without the brain bus, the motor can't start. It's 300,000. For me to get uh, fix the whiskey and all that, it's also 500,000. Uh -huh. For total of the expense I'm going to spend is 500,000 naira. Mm. And, uh, and, and secondly, my wife just put to bed. Your wife put to bed? Yes. That's through, good news. Through Congratulations. Operation. Through operation? Operation, yes. Ah. And the hospital bill is 200,000. Get back in St. Amara, Notre Dame. Notre Dame? Notre Dame. It's my neighbor that is also a mega child that gave me 50,000 yesterday. It's Omega An child. Omega child? Yes. Gave you 50,000 yesterday. yesterday. To support me to Please feed clap, Omega. clap for Omega children. So where do you worship? I worship Omega. Sir, since yesterday I have no eating. No problem. We will help you. So they'll give you 500 for your car, 200 to discharge, and 300 for baby food. I'm going to think of committing suicide. You are thinking of committing suicide? I can't withstand my children crying. I can't, I can't feed them. Since yesterday, I have no eating. The little food I have to reside for them. Let me start for them to eat. What's the sense of being a father when you can't provide for your family? I'm already a failure. You are not a failure. I have no eating since yesterday. Since yesterday? Ah. Where is the eatery? He has to eat now. Get me food and cold mineral. Yeah. I should give you this. You know about the condition. So everything he's saying is true. I yeah, keep giving him. Was write your account number. over the world let's a new baby has been born let's make sure this baby enjoys life now you will give me rest when I I see your faithfulness I bow down on my knees cause now you will Get that account to 7 million. Let them get the account up to 7 million. Okay? Let me tell you the way it works. The way it works. Some of my children will still send you money. Okay? Till tomorrow. Don't lie. Be very honest. Don't withdraw anything. You meet Pastor Yari by tomorrow and tell him how much is the total. I'm giving you a million. But what is this? How much is this? Four million five hundred and thirty thousand two hundred and thirty eight naira fifty four. He's already a millionaire. This man says he has not eaten. You want help him from your own? You want to find something for him? It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Five million already. I want you to set up your wife. Start something for your wife. What's the one thing holding you back from living the life God has called you to? I bet it's fear. Fear that whispers, you're not enough, you can't do it, you'll fail. 
But what if I told you God never intended for you to live in fear? In fact, he has given you everything you need to overcome it. Today, we're going to talk about how to break free from the chains of fear and walk in the boldness that God has already placed inside of you. And it all starts with one thing, faith. Let's dive in. Fear is something we all face. It can be paralyzing, overwhelming, and even make us doubt God's promises. But here's what we need to understand. Fear is not from God. 2 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 7 says, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Let that sink in for a moment. Fear is not your identity. Power, love, and a sound mind are. Fear doesn't get the final say in your life. God's power does. I know some of you are watching this right now feeling like fear has gripped every area of your life. Fear of failure, fear of rejection, fear of the unknown. But here's the good news. Jesus is greater than your fear. When you feel anxious or afraid, you're not meant to carry that weight alone. In fact, Jesus invites us in. Matthew chapter 11, verse 28. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Fear can weigh you down. It can make you feel like you're carrying a burden too heavy to bear. But God is saying, come to me. Give that fear to me and I'll give you peace. When you put your trust in God, you start to realize that he's bigger than your fears. Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10 reminds us, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. God is literally promising that you don't have to do it alone. He's holding you up, even when the fear feels overwhelming. What if, instead of focusing on your fears, you started focusing on God's promises? Practical Steps to Overcome Fear So, how do we practically overcome fear in our daily lives? Here are three key steps. Number one, meditate on God's word. The Bible is full of promises that combat fear. One of my favorites is Joshua chapter one, verse nine. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Read scriptures like this daily. Remind yourself of God's truth and fear will lose its grip on your heart. Number two, pray boldly. Prayer is not just asking God for things, it's an exchange. When you come to God in prayer, give him your fear and receive his peace. Philippians chapter four verses six to seven tells us, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Number three, take action in faith. Fear tries to freeze you in place, but faith moves you forward. Whatever God is calling you to do, do it despite the fear. That's where real courage comes from. Not the absence of fear, but moving forward through it with the strength of God by your side. In conclusion, listen, I don't know what fears you're facing right now, but I do know this. God has already given you the power to overcome them. You don't have to live in fear anymore. You can live boldly, confidently, and courageously because God is with you. Remember Romans chapter 8, verse 31. If God is for us, who can be against us? So, don't let fear have the final word in your life. Instead, let faith rise up. Let God's promises lead the way. If this message has touched you, don't keep it to yourself. Share it with someone who needs to hear it. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell for more content that will strengthen your walk with Christ. Let's break free from fear together.